everyone let's continue structure question modeling using jamovil so let me i had already explained you cfa principal component analysis and uh, now we will come for the path analysis plus cfa then it will become structure question modeling so we will go there and uh, sorry and uh, we will open a file and this is my file let me open this file this file is open, right? So now what we have to do, this is the serial number. And these are all uh, my items because it is including one construct, EC1, EC2, EC3. And further, we will go to GP1, GP2, GP3, PV1, PV2 and all. Right. So what we have to do, first of all, let me change this one is the, I should add it. Uh, let's say all should be rather than they should they should be reflecting their numbers so we will change their scale that would be at the continuous a moment we will do it now you can see let me go their data and now you can see these are earlier it was reflecting strongly agree disagree and now this is this is reflecting numbers so let me change all other variables also uh, those i required so you can do it together also rather than one by one so all these variables, those I required. So I am just editing and there is we are measuring at the continuous scale. So we will go to data and now we can see all the variables now in terms of numbers. So we will go for analysis and in the analysis, this one is the SAM. How you have to download, you will go to modules, you will go to Jamovi library right and here is you will search here rather than this one is sam and moment you will search is here now you will press here install right you have to install here now it would be reflecting here so i have already installed so i'm not uh, repeating this exercise so moment you will click here sam now sam syntax and sam interactive so we will go for because uh, syntax is a lot of coding is required so i am just going for interactive and endogenous exogenous means i had already explained in my previous video also endogenous means those are your dependent variable exogenous means those are your independent variable exogenous we are calling it predictor also right these are predictors also means your dependent variable can be predicted by these independent variable so this is endogenous and exogenous so in my study this B1, B2 and sorry, BI1, BI2, BI3 is my independent variable. So let me give a name of behavior, behavior intention, behavior intention my dependent variable. So let's exogenous variable, exogenous variable I will transfer one by one EC1, EC2, my dip independent variable. So I will give them name. This is environment concern. I'm writing so short form environment concern. And now I would add next one independent variable. This is GP1, GP2, GP3. Let me transfer. And now I would give them a name, common policy. This is my another dependent independent variable. So common policy, common policy. And uh, let's add my th next one variable. And this variable, not fourth one, I don't require. Only three variables I require. So third variable it is, let me go back. This is PV1, PV2, and PV3. This is my third independent variable. I will give this one is the perceived behavior. For example, I'm taking this. So my study is now there are three independent variable and one dependent variable. So what we have to do, we will go for path diagram. And I will check this box, path diagram. Right. And here is we can if we want show intercept and show residuals also. So now you can see here when you have to going down, this one is our CFA actually that I had already explained you in my previous video. This is the 
basically this is the correlation between these are my construct government policy environment concern right all these are construct and what is the relationship in between both these all these construct right and these are items those are defining these construct because this is the latent variable and these are the observed variable right hand side you can see bi3 bi2 bi1 and all these things so now what we have to do first of all we will check this box this one is the model test and model test p value should be greater than 0 0.05 but it is not greater than right so what we have to do uh, that is explaining your data is good fit for this model right next we will go for endogenous model now we would run this structure question modeling and what we have to do there is rmc value also you can see a right hand side that is 0 0.811 right that is also on the higher side because earlier this uh, this one is the sorry R rmc value this one is 0 0.04 and that is that should be 0 0.06 that should be below at max 0 0.06 so that is under control and you can see CFI is also pretty good and Tucker Lewis also good. These are the uh, good indice indices and uh, all these are good. So further we will go for endogenous behavior. Behavior intention my dependent variable and let's I will transfer environment concern is my independent variable. Government policy is also my independent variable and perceived behavior is also my independent variable so what we have to do now we can see these all are the estimates and further we will go down this is our st structure relationship model and now we can see and simply you can copy and paste over there this is my dependent variable all these three are my independent variable so uh, this is the relationship between all these items and now what we have to do, let's say we want to check all these uh, values of the structure equation model. And uh, this is the, 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 the same, this is the structure equation modeling. And uh, now we can see here, uh, this is the CFI, right? All these values are good. So, now you have to go for the interpretation. So I have already explained you all these interpretation in my previous video. And I will give this link again over here, how you are going to interpret all these uh, uh, values. So that would be easy, you can understand, right? So I hope this video would be helpful to you. Stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.